All right, guys, I am Tech Chetri. In this video, I am going to download the climate data using CDS API Python. For this particular video, I am going to download the land cover classified grid map from satellite observation. So let's get started. So for downloading climatic data, you have to create the Copernicus CDS account using this link. I'll provide this link in the description below. After that, you have to create the CDS API RC file under your users and then use your user directory. So there you have to provide the URL and key, UID and API key. I'll let you know how to get this key from your account. And after that, you have to download the CDS API using pip install CDS API and then you have to create Python file and paste the code inside this file and then just need to run. So for downloading data, you need to go to cds.climate.copernicus.eu website. So I'll provide this link in the description below. After that, you need to uh, register or log in your account. If you don't have account, feel free to create the new account. Uh, just by using this form and since I already have account so I am going to log into this uh, account and after that uh, you have to your profile and then here you will get the UID and API key so we need this API key for downloading data so for that uh, I have to go to Windows C C drive inside users inside GIC. I have to create the end of file called CDS API RC. So let's rename this file. So dot uh, CDS API RC and then just save it. And then you have to edit with uh, any text editor. And then you may need to add these two things URL and key. So after that, uh, here is your UID and API key. Simply replace this UID and API key over here. Okay, so just save it and then you can close it. Now you have the, you have added the CDS API RC file inside your users. Okay, so after that you have to create the, uh, you have to download the CDS API using pip command and then you have to create the Python file and then get the code and run this code. So, okay, so for that I am inside this download and this product directory. You can go wherever you want and then you have to create the Python file. So I am going to create the Python file over here, cds.py. and then then i am going to open my command front over here cmd to open your command front and you have to download the cds api library right so for that uh, you have to paste this command here so pip install cds api okay so since i already installed this package that's why it shows requirement already satisfied so after that, uh, I have to edit this file. So I, I have to open it with notepad and then I have to, I have to go to the dataset catalog and then I can search for land cover and then I have to go here and then I have to download data tab and then select 2020 and the version is uh, 2.1.1 and then you can select all the fi level variables and then you can simply click show api request so after that you just need to copy this code and then paste it here and then just need to save it okay so after that you have to run the this command this python file using command front so you can run simply python and then cds my file name cds.py 
so after that it will show you the request is queued and then request is running now you can see this request in your uh, your request tab so here is my request so it was sent 14 seconds before and then it's still under forces so after some time uh, it will download our data set our required data set inside the same folder inside the product directory okay now my download is started based on your internet speed it will download the data okay you can download this data without using python as well so for that you have to go to the data set directory and then you can search for land cover and then inside here you can select the uh, you can simply without this showing this api request you can submit this form so after submitting this form it will uh, add your request to the uh, this dashboard and then simply you can download it using this download button so it will uh, take it may take some time to download so same thing we can download using python as well let's see after uh, this product download i'll load this product to the qgis and show you what it look like all right guys so my download process is already completed and uh, here is my download.zip file if i extract this file it will create the .nc file so if i load this file on qgis so you will get this uh, i think eight eight layers and then you can just visualize it in qgis and then uh, you can use this product even you can change this product to got image and then do the processing using gdal or some other library so i hope you enjoy this video i'll see you next week thank you